Hi, I'm Dr. Natesh, Senior Consultant Orthopedic Surgeon and Professor of Orthopedics. So today I'm here to talk about knee arthritis and what are the available treatment and preventive aspects. Knee arthritis is a condition which has been increasing in incidence recently because of increased age group and even elderly people activity is uh, quite increased because of that the issue of arthritis is coming as a complaint to orthopedic clinics more and more uh, in these years. So to prevent this when we are young, we have to take proper diet and take ideal uh, weight ratio uh, to our height has to be maintained and uh, diet has to be taken so that the cartilage in the knee joint is healthy and along with maintaining ideal weight to height ratio and uh, uh, taking proper diet for the knee joints we need to take proper uh, precautions uh, regarding the exercise activities we should not suddenly jump into doing exercises and we should not suddenly stop or start doing exercises it has to be a gradual process and it has to be grow incrementally stepwise and it is ideal to take somebody's advice a professional trainer or some sports specialist advice so that uh, sport the exercises that we do or uh, the sports that we play don't injure our joints or the cartilage because some of those cartilage injuries which we sustain during sports or during exercises they stay for a long time at later ages they may cause arthritis they may cause pains they may cause severe incapabilities to us so uh, while we are young, uh, maintaining ideal weight uh, to height ratio, proper diet and uh, proper exercise regime or proper sports uh, regime under the supervision of uh, some specialist is important. Once we cross these middle ages, once we enter 55, 60 years of age, then what we have to do is we have to strengthen the bones along with the muscles and the muscle strengthening or increasing bulk of muscle has to be has to come down and we have to strengthen the bones and lot of emphasis has to be there on strengthening of the bones and cartilage health has to be there we have to lose weight and uh, uh, that uh, diet has to be maintained and regular simple exercises have to be followed and there should not be any significant changes in our diet uh, daily day-to-day -day activities and uh, regular checkups uh, for bone density for uh, any minor uh, issues issues or minor symptoms and regular follow-ups with the particular doctor the family doctor ideally will be good and then we have to also check our bone strength we using DEXA scans or uh, at least uh, ultrasound scans and proper precautions calcium medications or strengthening medications or micronutrient supplementation they have to be taken and once if we see arthritis if we see that the cartilage is depleting we have to identify it very early as early as possible either by MRI or by even by simple x-rays with a low Load bearing or Rosenberg views can help you with that and once we identify that appropriate treatment has to be taken based on the stage of the cartilage degeneration all cartilage degenerations all arthritis all knee pains doesn't require knee replacement surgery or a hip replacement surgery or whatever it may be it, it, there will be stages and only once all other treatments are used and they proved to be not so useful then only we go for a knee replacement or a hip replacement because that is a final procedure that we do to the patient before that we can try nutritional nutraceutical supplementation physiotherapy exercises braces offloading braces we can try uh, we can uh, injections into the joint we can try nerve blocks we can try rf ablation we can try cool uh, cool laser uh, burning of the nerves and we can try there are so many other things stem one injection stem cells we can try mesenchymal stem cells and after all these things if the patient doesn't uh, get cured or if the condition of the patient doesn't allow for any of these things then we go for a total knee replacement after proper assessment of the condition and then we have to get a knee replacement surgery done